everybody, this is Diana from So Very Crafty, and we are here today to make these fantastic zipper pouches. As you can see, these are fun and functional. You can see everything that you put in. The zipper on this is a super easy install, so anybody with basic sewing skills can make this project in no time at all. And I'm gonna show you here step-by-step step on this video just how to go about doing it. So let's get started. What are we going to need for this project? We are going to need a little bit of fabric, a little bit of interfacing, and a little bit of vinyl, and a zipper, and that's it. So we're going to start out with some fun fabrics here. I chose this little mushroom print. It's super fun, super easy to use. It's a nice cotton, uh, quilting cotton that uh, is just a fun fabric. You can choose any kind of cotton fabric that you want. I happen to get this at Fabric Frenzy in, in Wimberley, Texas. Um, I'll put the link on, on the comments section if you wanna head over to uh, uh, Fabric Frenzy to get this fabric. But you can choose any sort of quilting cotton for this project. I also used an interfacing, which is an SF uh, 101 from Pellon. It's a lightweight interfacing just to give a little bit of body to my uh, zipper pouch. I also have some uh, vinyl. Keep in mind that vinyl, this clear vinyl, comes in some different thicknesses or gauges. I used a little bit of a thick vinyl for this, but as you can see from this pouch, I used a little thinner vinyl, so either will work. This vinyl, the thicker vinyl, will probably work a little bit better, uh, will last a little long term, so you can use that. And I used a, a nine inch zipper. This zipper is actually 14 inches, but we're gonna shorten it, and I'm gonna show you how to go about doing that in uh, a couple of very easy steps. So you can use any size zipper that you want because we're gonna shorten it down to nine inches to be perfect for this uh, particular project. We're gonna use another little two and a half by two inch uh, rectangular piece of fabric because we're gonna add some zipper tabs to our zipper um, to make our zipper fit nice and snug and neat and not look bumpy at the edges. So the first step that we are going to do in this is we are going to take our fun fabric and we are actually have four pieces of fun fabric because we are going to have a lining fabric and an outer fabric, and it's up to you if you wanna use the same fabric or you can use a different fabric for your lining. But we have four pieces of this fabric, and we are going to add some interfacing to just the outer pieces of the fabric, not to the lining. And we are gonna follow our manufacturer's instructions. I'm gonna head over to the iron and uh, fuse this interfacing. Really, all you need to do is flip over the outer pieces. You will notice that on the interfacing, there is a shiny side. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, and a not shiny side. We are gonna place the shiny side down onto the wrong side of our fabric, and then we are just gonna press it because that shiny side is the glue side and it's going to fuse into that fabric so we can treat this all as one piece of fabric. So I'm gonna head over to the iron right now and I'm gonna fuse these outer pieces of fabric with our interfacing and then we are gonna move on to our next step. Okay, we are back and we have fused our interfacing to our outer pieces of fabric. Now we have our, I'm gonna set aside our lining fabric and we are going to take our vinyl, our clear vinyl, and we are going to place it right sides together with our outer fabric. Now keep in mind that there's no right or wrong sides on the vinyl, but there is a right or wrong side on our outer fabric. So we are going to place these right sides together and we are going to stitch right along here using a one half inch, that's one half inch seam allowance. 
Now I'm going to um, not use clips or pins because it's just a short little seam. But if you want, please use clips to clip this because you don't want those holes to be seen on the uh, vinyl. So yes, uh, use Wonder Clips. I'll put a link in the comments if you want to purchase some Wonder Clips or you can use paper clips or binder clips. But uh, I like the Wonder Clips. They work really well for this. Um, and we're just going to stitch right along here on both of our outer pieces one half inch seam allowance. So I'm going to do that and come right back. Okay, we are back and we have sewn our outer piece to our vinyl. Nice and neat and tidy here. We have two outer pieces and now we need to add our zipper and our zipper tabs. Okay, so now we are going to uh, add the zipper tab to our zipper. We are gonna fold along the two inch side because we have a two and a half inch side and a two inch side. We're gonna fold along the two inch side and we are going to cut this zipper tab in half. Now, now that we have cut the zipper tab in half, we need to shorten our zipper. If you've never shortened a zipper, in this instance, we are going to cut the top of our zipper and the bottom of our zipper. But before we do that, we are going to measure down nine inches uh, for, for our zipper, and we are going to stitch right across here so that we have a new stop that's just going to be thread that's going to stop our zipper from zipping up and down because otherwise if we don't have this zipper stop here, it, the zipper will just slide right off and we won't be able to get it back on. So measure down nine inches so that our zipper is exactly nine inches. Stitch as a line, a couple of lines right across here and don't worry about your sewing machine. This is a nylon zipper. So your sewing machine will go right back and forth across this without any trouble. And then we're gonna come back and we are gonna cut off this zipper and add our zipper tabs. Now, here we are and we've added our new zipper stop. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this zipper right down here at the bottom and we're going to discard the rest. I'm also going to just clip off the top of this zipper just in front of the zipper stop. And just so you know, when I measured my nine inches, I measured from the zipper stop down so that it's exactly nine inches long. Now I'm going to take my zipper tabs and I am going to fold the ends the raw edges inside just like that and fold it in half. And I'm going to add these zipper tabs to the ends of each, to each end of my zipper just like that and they fit perfectly on the ends and I'm going to take a wonder clip and I'm just going to clip it right there. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the other end but keep in mind this end is going to want to open up so you're going to want to be a little careful with this end you could even uh, stitch across it if you like uh, it's completely up to you and you are going to add another wonder clip and clip this together and we're going to head over to the sewing machine and we are just going to stitch 
right across these edges. So just right across this edge here and right across this edge here to secure these zipper tapes. And I'll be right back. Okay, so we now have our shortened zipper with our zipper tabs. Everything moves up and down, just perfect. Now we need to add our zipper to our pouch. So we are gonna start with one of our outer pieces. We are going to place our outer piece right sides up on our work surface. And we are gonna place our zipper right sides down. And you're gonna see that our zipper, there's going to be a space right along our uh, pouch here for our seam allowance. Then we are going to place our lining, and I've chosen to use the same fabric for my lining as I have for my uh, outer fabric. And I'm just gonna place it right on top so we have a zipper sandwich. I'm going to take my Wonder Clips and I'm going to clip this zipper all along here so that all the raw edges are together. You can use as many clips as you'd like. Uh, you can use pins for this if you want. Um, I like the clips, they're a little easier to use than pins. And our zipper is in place. As you can see, if we flip it over, we have our zipper right there. And we are going to head over to the sewing machine and we are gonna use our zipper foot and we are going to stitch right along here. Now just a tip for sewing this zipper. What I like to do is start with my zipper part way open. And the reason I do that is I can start my zipper flat with my zipper foot. And then as I go, I can open up the zipper and continue on a flat. I don't wanna have to a bump in my zipper as I'm going along as my zipper foot hits the zipper pull. So once I get around that zipper pull, that I can pull it back and uh, not have any bumps in my, uh, in my zipper. So I'm going to head over to the sewing machine and I am going to add this zipper using my zipper foot and we'll be back in a trice. Okay, now you can see that we have sewn our zipper foot, or zipper, nice and neat. Our zipper is easily opened and closed with no problem. We have our zipper tabs in place. Everything is as it should be. But we need to add the other side of our zipper. So we are going to repeat this process exactly the same way that we did when we did the first side of the zipper. Adding, uh, placing our outer fabric right sides up. We are going to place our zipper as you can see, wrong sides down. Making sure that our we're lined up on either edge. And then we are gonna place our lining piece on top so that we have our zipper sandwich once again. And we are going to clip these pieces in place so that we can head over to the sewing machine and sew the other side of this zipper in place just the way we need to uh, so that we have lining on both sides and our outer pouch sewn on both sides of our zipper. So let's just finish up clipping this zipper. Again, you can use pins if you like, and you can see that our sides are all lined up everything is as it should be. We're gonna head over to the sewing machine. Let's sew this and I'll be right back. Okay, we are back and our zipper is installed and our lining is where it needs to be. Nice and perfect. 
So our next step is that we need to finish off the install of our lining. And basically what we're going to do is we are going to fold our lining under so that it is even with our outer piece here, but it doesn't show on the front. So we're gonna manipulate this fold. It's gonna fold up about a half an inch because that was our seam allowance. And we are going to top stitch right along this edge so that our lining is finished on the inside and our outer piece is finished on the outside. And we're gonna do that for both edges of our bag. We're going to fold under that lining and top stitch along the edge so that it's got a finished edge on both sides of our pouch. So I'm gonna head over to my iron. I'm going to just press this edge down, top stitch it on both sides, and come back for our next step. Okay, so we have top stitched and our lining to our outer bag. And now we are going to go over and we are going to top stitch along our zipper. So I'm going to head over to the sewing machine and do that. And we are going to have a nice finished edge along our zipper. And I'll be back. Okay. Okay, we have now top stitched our zipper and it's still working perfectly fine. And now we are gonna finish off this bag. We are now going to fold this bag right sides together and we are going to stitch using a half inch seam allowance all the way along the bottom, all the way along the sides. And making sure that we don't stitch our zipper tabs. We wanna make sure those zipper tabs stay free and easy from our uh, stitching. So just stitch all the way around using the one half inch seam allowance and make sure that your zipper is open or you will not be able to turn this bag right sides out and we don't want that. So let's go and do that. Okay, we've now sewn our zipper bag all the way around and now we are going to box our corners. If you've never boxed a corner, it's a super simple process, especially when you're dealing with vinyl. Um, this vinyl is a little uh, heavier gauge, as I said, but all we're going to do is match the bottom seam with the side seam. And since you can see the seams on this, as opposed to regular fabric, uh, you'll be able to match those seams perfectly. And then we are going to stitch right across here using a one half inch seam allowance. And we're gonna repeat that for the other side of this bag. And we are going to be finished and we'll flip this right sides out and I'll show you the finished product. So let's finish boxing these corners. Okay, so we have boxed our corners on both sides of our bag and we are just going to clip off this excess along here to remove the bulk to make things nice and neat. And now we are going to turn our bag right sides out and see what it looks like. This is a little bit of a fidgety project uh, process but we are going to get it through nonetheless.
Okay, now let's push out the zipper tabs. Close our zipper. And we are finished with our clear vinyl fabric topped zipper pouch. How cute is that? Now I have three of them. I hope you enjoyed this pro project. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and give this project a try. It is fun, it is functional, and I plan on using all three of my zipper pouches. So uh, again, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, because this is an awesome little project to make. Thanks everybody, and go to www.soverycrafty.com if you want a step-by-step -step pictorial tutorial of this particular project. It is there just waiting for you. Thanks everybody, bye.